Every time I think the weather has made a turn for the better, you wake up in the morning and it's 50 something degrees for highs, low 30s for the lows. Now, I do want to apologize because I made a big mistake in this soil test comparison series. What's going on everyone? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. Now for part one of this soil test comparison series between Yard Mastery and Spectrum Analytic, I spent over $200 of my hard-earned money and I deeply regret it. Before I dive any deeper, let's just recap how part one turned out. Now part one was just the soil collection process and sending the samples off to the scientists to do all the voodoo that they do and Yard Mastery got the win for that part of the process just because they make everything easy when it comes to collecting soil samples and sending them off to the lab to get results. And that's not to say that Spectrum Analytic makes things extra challenging, it's just the fact that you have to provide your own collection means, you have to take them to the post office and pay for your own shipping and all that kind of stuff. And it's a little bit harder to actually get the printout to fill out to send in those results. It's just a little bit more legwork on your end to send off your soil test results where Yard Mastery, it's all contained in that little itty bitty box, that little itty bitty envelope for you to go ahead and ship off to get your results. Now, continuing on with this comparison, we're gonna focus on more of the results process. Now that you've shipped them off, you get your results back, and let's talk about that part here between the two. Now, for Spectrum Analytic, their T3 test, which is their all-encompassing test, you get all this, basically the same results that you would get from Yard Mastery. It is $50 for that T3 test before shipping. So because I did two tests, it cost a total with shipping of $113. That's a bit pricey. Now for Yard Mastery, I went with the Pro Pack, which comes with two soil tests and the soil probe, and that was $90. Now you can save money by not going with the soil probe. Like I said, I didn't care for it. The opening was a little bit small, so it was harder for me to get the samples out of the probe to put them in the box. So you can go ahead and skip that and just get the two tests. But even with that, it is $58 for the two tests, which is still pretty pricey. But if I have to give a point there, we're obviously gonna go with Yard Mastery again because it is just cheaper by over half, $113, well, a little bit less than half, $113 to $58 if you go without the soil probe. Now, if you've made it to this point in the video, Thank you so much for watching to this point in the video. But if you don't mind, please take a second and give me a thumbs up down below because like I've said before, it does help grow the channel because that is what YouTube reads when it comes to what channels they push and all this kind of stuff that still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to a lot of content creators out there. So if you could just please give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the results from each test. Now I did get the Spectrum Analytic results quicker. However, I don't know if that's because of the shipping process. You know, I did priority mail, which is one to three business days. So maybe they just got the results in a little bit quicker. I don't quite know uh, what the Yard Mastery test shipping time is, or if it was a matter of workload and maybe Yard Mastery or whoever reads their results, which I think is the same company that does my soil. But either way, they may have just been overwhelmed, so it took a little bit longer. I don't know, but I did get the results quicker from Spectrum Analytic. Now I will go ahead and have both results flashing back and forth here on the screen so you can see. Now my results are actually fairly similar between the two and that's actually to be expected. Now there will be some sort of variance because there's sample that went to Spectrum Analytic and went to Yard Mastery. They're not gonna be exactly the same. Some of the soil may, came, may have come from one part of the front yard than say the other. So my results are fairly similar and they both basically tell me that I have some deficiencies that I need to correct all the way around on both the front and backyard. 
I will say the readouts are actually very similar between the two as well. Yard Mastery is trying to focus more on the DIYer that's really just sort of getting started by putting the NPK on top. However, you really don't need to worry about the nitrogen levels in your soil test because that is a very easy thing to correct. Everything else in the test is where you wanna focus, and that's why Spectrum Analytic doesn't really quite focus on nitrogen as much as it does the other nutrients in your lawn. Now for this part of the comparison, I'm gonna give it a push because even though Yard Mastery does try to focus more on the DIY, the, the people just getting started and taking care of their own lawns, Spectrum Analytic doesn't make the results like it's trying to read blood work labs or something like that. So there really isn't a clear winner when it comes to actually reading the soil test results. Now, as you can see by my soil test results on both Yard Mastery and Spectrum Analytic, I have some work to do. I did have some issues in the front lawn after the renovation. Uh, I had some severe watering issues that caused some disease and caused just nutrients to get locked up in the soil and the grass just never absorbed uh, any of those nutrients. So I've actually sent my results off to some friends of mine that have given me a good plan to correct a lot of these errors or a lot of these deficiencies, I should say. So stay tuned to the channel as we're gonna work on making both the front yard and the backyard look absolutely fantastic. So when it comes to who won this comparison of soil test titans, yard mastery, or spectrum analytic, the winner is Waypoint Analytical. Now I know that's probably cheating a little bit, but let me explain. Waypoint Analytical, you can get their full comprehensive test, whatever the number is, the T3 equivalent if you were doing Spectrum Analytic, you can get that test and results for $16 before shipping. So had I done two soil tests, that'd be $32. And then with shipping, let's just say that's $10. For $42, I can get the same results that I would get with Spectrum Analytic and from Yard Mastery. That was a huge failure on my part. I didn't include them in this test because after I did that first video, I had several people reach out to me. Why didn't you include Waypoint Analytic? Waypoint is so much cheaper than Spectrum Analytic and it's the exact same thing. And it's basically because I didn't know. Is that fair? Now, if I were to be fair here and choose a winner, between Yard Mastery and Spectrum Analytic, I'm gonna give the nod to Yard Mastery simply because Yard Mastery does make it a lot easier for the new uh, homeowner or whatever, the person that's just starting to take care of their lawn that maybe doesn't know how to read their soil test, maybe doesn't have the connections to have someone read the soil test for them and build a plan of action for them because I love the fact that Yard Mastery gives recommendations of products based on the deficiencies in the soil test. Now, a lot of people have problems with that. And I, look, Yard Mastery is a business. They're a company. Of course, they have a soil test that they sell to you. And so if they're gonna offer products to help correct deficiencies, it's gonna be products that they sell. That is the way business works. So I don't understand all the, the hate towards that business model. That's actually very, very smart. And here's the thing the products they recommend are gonna work. It's not like they're selling a bunch of snake oil that isn't gonna correct the deficiencies in your lawn because that's technically against the law, isn't it? However, here's the thing that I think is important and that's that Spectrum Analytic and Waypoint Analytical both actually give you a plan of action based on your soil test results. Now they don't recommend specific products, but they say apply X number of pounds per thousand of potassium or magnesium or, or whatever the elements that, or the nutrients that you are deficient in, they actually tell you how much to put down on the ground to correct those deficiencies, which is also very helpful. I just like the fact that Yard Mastery does point out and say, hey, apply this particular product, here's a link to it, and that will actually correct those deficiencies. So all three of them give recommendations. Yard Mastery just gives specific recommendations. And for people just getting started in lawn care that don't know where to turn, that is extremely, extremely helpful. 
So next season, when it's time for me to do my soil test, I'm gonna be going with Waypoint Analytical because for $16, that's awesome. Unless they jack up the prices due to demand after this season. But whatever the case may be, use whatever soil test company you want. If you like Yardmaster, use Yardmaster. If you like Spectrum, use Spectrum. If you like your local county extension office, use your local county extension office. It really doesn't matter. I just think it's important that you do a soil test at the beginning of the season to understand what is going on beneath the surface because you can look at my lawn here and you can make a bunch of conclusions about this, but you're only gonna be doing guesswork unless you do a soil test to find out why it looks the way it looks. That's it for this video. Thank you so much if you made it to this point and watched the entire thing. That is awesome of you. If you did, please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It really does mean a lot to me. Coming up here on the channel in the coming weeks, we're gonna be thinking about doing a first mow here on the front yard because over the last week or so, I've noticed a lot of top growth and quite honestly, a lot of green up. We're also gonna be doing a scalp on the backyard, getting that thing ready to rock and roll and applying the first doses of fertilizer. But until then, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.